Uh, one of the teams that we say is the more things change, the more they remain the same, is Carthage. After all, they've won eight state titles under Scott Surratt, number one in 4A Division II, wire to wire to this point. No reason to think they'd get any kind of a game, even in the state semifinals, right? Against an upstart Glen Rose team. Well, not so fast. Take a look at what's going on. Into the first half for those Tigers of Glen Rose trying to play it tough. There in Frisco, but it's Connor Cuff. He's had a great season, and he hits Jacarian Rockamore, and he rocks his way through the Glen Rose defense, takes it in, 80-yard touchdown. But it's only 21-14 Carthage at that point. Bulldogs would get the second half kickoff, so it goes to Kedrick Harper, and we know what he can do. Harper, straight up the middle, then to the boundary. He'll not be caught, 72 yards off the short kickoff. So it's 28-14. So now Carthage is ready to put it away, right? Uh-uh. Here comes Glen Rose, fourth and goal from the six. Hudson White had a marvelous season all season long. Switches direction, takes it in for the score. That ties it at 28, ensuing Carthage drive. And it's going to be Connor Cuff going to the air to Noah Patty. So dependable, so reliable all season. But as Noah Patty gets hit, he's stripped of the football. And Glen Rose recovers. Then the Tigers still on the move, and it's probably a Silva who takes the handoff, and he'll take it all the way in for the score. Glenn Rose leading with six minutes to go, 35 to 28. Bulldogs not going to quit, of course. L.D. Dowden on the handoff to take it in. Game now tied at 35. Glenn Rose driving, looking for the monumental upset, looking for a go-ahead score, but there's a fumble, the ball loose, and it's recovered by Deontay Mary, their outstanding linebacker. 11 seconds to go on the drive. Down one more time. We'll plunge over. Carthage wins a thriller, 42 to 35. Let's hear it from those victorious Carthage Bulldogs. No, sir. We have not been down this year, and uh, we were down in fourth, obviously, and I, I loved how our kids reacted to go get the tie, and then, you know, we got to fumble. It was a fortunate play for us that uh, they fumbled, but, uh, and then we went and scored again. I ain't gonna lie, we haven't been going through no games like this, but, you know, we gotta keep going, keep working, keep, keep striving, keep pushing. I mean, yes, sir, we, we, you know, we always gonna be nervous. Everybody get nervous. But we knew that we had to keep playing and keep working, keep going. We got to pull out with the win.